So here we have the Toyota Land Cruiser camp for four persons. Booking code is Crew C4. It's based around the Toyota Land Cruiser 79 series, double cab 4x4. Now the Land Cruiser has always been known as the, the king of Africa. It's uh, by far your most capable 4x4 vehicle and um, by far the most widely used because Toyota is so well represented in Southern Africa. You can always get dealer backup. Um, you can go anywhere with this car and the guys are going to know the vehicle. They're very familiar with this model. It's also got one of the most um, effective four-wheel drive systems. You've got front and rear diff lock, 4x4 high and low. And it, also unique to this vehicle is it's actually all still mechanical. No fancy electronics that can cause a lot of complications in certain off-road conditions. So it's a basic vehicle, but without question, the ideal vehicle for 4x4 overlanding. There are also some additional accessories fitted to this vehicle in order to make it uh, more appropriate for remote area travel. Extras would include the bull bar. This vehicle also comes with a winch standard. Got the snorkel for water crossings, high lift jack, double spare wheels, dual battery system. And then it's got the complete Alucab uh, cam camper system, the canopy. You can see here the guys are busy with the, the roof tents. Now the concept of the roof tent is obviously you're camping on the roof, you're off the ground, it's safer. The tents are also easy to put up and put down. You've got a built-in mattress in the tent. Both tents are 1.4 meter wide by 2.4 long when open. So there's ample space for two adults. Also got the built-in mosquito netting, so safe for travel to malaria areas. Both tents have got a fly sheet, which once put up properly, it sits just above the rest of the canvas, so they're all weatherproof. It's also made of a high ripstop canvas, so they should be completely water weatherproof. The table conveniently sits just under the roof rack, so it just slides in and slides out. You can see on the canopy that the doors open off all the sides, which makes it a lot easier to pack and unpack and a lot more user friendly. There's a kitchen off the side, which has got all your mugs, cups, cutlery, plates, everything you need for cooking. There's one large drawer in the back of the vehicle, so you've got two storage levels. The drawer we normally recommend for putting all your food and groceries and your kitchen equipment. The vehicle's also got the 40 litre fridge freezer, which runs off its own battery. So you can use it, you know, if you run it at a low temperature, you can keep frozen goods in the bottom and drinks and other items in the top of the fridge. And you're able to live out of this vehicle for extended periods. Fuel tank size, 130 litres on this vehicle, and it is a 60 litre freshwater tank. And the idea is that you would have everything you need to literally jump in the vehicle and go on holiday. You've got all your kitchen equipment, bedding, all the accessories you need. All you need to bring are your personal items. We're now going to look at the recovery box. In the equipment we include some safety items. There's a grass seed net, which we would use if going through areas in the rainy season and there's a lot of grass seed. It can clog the radiator up and lead to overheating. Just a utility rope. Strong toe strap. An axe, um, just in case you need to cut away brushes. A puncture repair kit for your tubeless tires. And just ratchet straps in case you need to fasten something on the roof rack. We still, even though there's a dual battery system in the vehicle, we still supply jumper cables. First aid kit, just a funnel for the additional fuel jerry cans if you take it as an option. And then the last two things are probably your most important. This is a little toolbox, which has got most of your tools. And then finally an air compressor that would be used in conjunction with your tire repair kit. Or 
if you need to lower your tires in sand and then you need to re you know pump them up again you'll have the access to the compressor so with a vehicle with two spare tires and puncture repair kit and compressor you're very very unlikely to find yourself short of tires Thank you.